Hi guys, welcome back to Bookish Shayla. For all my U.S. followers, happy Thanksgiving. Today is the U.S.'s Thanksgiving and we are doing my layout for the Thankful Thursday that uh, Sandy over at State Goddess, the hop that she created for us to do a layout about things that we're thankful for every Thursday. So this is week four. We will have one more week of it. And um, this has been a lot of fun. This is my first, it's my second hop, but it's the first hop that was more than one time. I did a, a celebration hop, but um, this is the first hop that I've done for um, more than one week. So I wanna thank uh, Sandy for inviting me. She put it on a Facebook group that I had joined and it's just been a lot of fun. So today I am going to use this page map sketch. It was the Scrappy Square, which is another Facebook group. They do a sketch every Saturday and this was the sketch from 11-11, so November 11th. Now I'm going to only use one photo in place of the two three by fours, but this is going to be my inspiration. So let me show you, since it is Thanksgiving, now Sandy told us that we could um, interpret it any way we want. We could do something, sorry I'm trying to get my sketch to stand up here. We could do you know, something that is a thankful layout, you know, that I'm oh so thankful for somebody or something or, you know, Thanksgiving or that kind of thing, or it could just be any a layout with people or something that we're thankful for. So this is my anniversary from um, 2021. And this is my family. That's my husband and me and my daughter, Emma, and my son, Garrett. And of course, I mean, it goes without saying that I am so thankful for these people in my life. I've, um, my husband and I have been married for 26 years and we dated for several years before that, for like six and a half before we got married. So we've been together for a really long time. And every year on our anniversary, we go out to eat somewhere where, um, where we live. There's not a whole lot of places, so we don't go out very often to eat unless we're out and about anyway. But this is the one time a year that we specifically go just to eat. And um, there's a restaurant in a town. I only live like 15 miles from the Texas Panhandle. And there's a town in Texas not too far from us that um, has a really good steakhouse. And this is where that's taken. So I have pulled the an old close to my heart collection called hopscotch it looks like it was from 2014 and i just really liked the colors of it our anniversary is in may the end of may and so i just it's kind of summery without being all bright and in your face and i just really kind of liked it it's but it's still muted so um that's what i'm going to use and i've pulled out my flax and close to my heart ink because it matches this collection to ink my edges like I like to do. And I also, and this was my kit inspiration. I've talked several times about that, that several, sometimes I use a picture, sometimes I use an embellishment, sometimes I just use a collection. But this was my, um, and my inspiration for this kit. And it's this uh, cut apart card from, I have no idea, I'm gonna, mm, I was gonna say I'm gonna guess, but I'm not. And it's so happy together. And I thought, and this is another reason why I pulled these colors is I thought it really matched with this and I really wanted to use this card for this picture. So let's see what else we have. So that is definitely going on the, uh, the page. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit because it had a little, a little extra on there. So I have my papers and I have the compliments. Now this, I have used this collection several times and so I have used several of them, but uh, there's a spinner wheel thing that I thought about drawing the hands on the date and year and everything as kind of a, a to show when this, our, the picture was taken. It says the best day ever. I probably won't use that. Um, I might use this love, love this for my title. It has these hexagon borders. It has some tags, tabs, sorry. It has some brackets 
and some just some little embellishment. So I think I'm gonna try to use as much of this as I can. And I'd especially like to get at least one of these used up. And then I just have my papers. So I'm gonna look through them. Like I said, I'm, most of them are scraps because I have used this several times, but we're gonna pick out some paper and get going. So I have this one that's kind of the pinwheel looking and it's this pretty apricot color on the back. I have this sage green that's kind of swirl, dashed swirls, and I have the arrow looking on the back. I have this pretty blue, and I do have a full sheet of the blue. And on the back of it, ooh, it's the it's a dress pattern, but that's cute. And there's that green again. I did have a full sheet of it with the arrows on the back, and then I have some cardstock and. I think, um, I would really kind of like to use this, but just because it's kind of neutral, but I'm afraid if you take a good look at it, you're going to be able to figure out what it is. Now, a big portion of it is going to be covered because I have the big part kind of here. I'm just trying to play it in my head to see if I can... I have that and I would need a color underneath it. Or I might use, let's see. Hmm. Actually, I might use this one. And then I need it backed. So if I put that on there, I'm just trying to see what would be left over if it would be obvious that it's that because that's really the only, you know what, I think I'm gonna, go through my wood grain. So hold on just a second. I love craft consor consortium paper pads because they have the coolest wool grain, wood grains and um, bricks and they just, I just love their paper pads and I get them and then I put them, I have a section that's like wood grades in my papers and I just always forget to go look there. But I think since this picture, I mean, our, the booth is wood grain or is wood and stuff. I just think wood grain would look really good. So let me flip through here and see what I can find. I don't want anything too dark. I get these paper pads at my little scrapbook studio. Michelle carries a lot of them. So if you would like to uh, go check her out, that would be great. Now that one, I like that one. Let's see what's on the back of it. Hmm, I like that one too, because that really goes with, okay, so that's a maybe. I think there's three of each one. There's that one. On the back, there's that. I love this one with the distress. This is probably going to be a little bit longer video just because I didn't prepare anything. Blue, the brown, that's a little too rough. Blue on the back. I don't think the white would look good because the paper is definitely more of a cream colored. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this one, but I'm going to use the back of it. Okay, so Let's put that away. But yes, I was going to tell you, um, my little scrapbook store, they go live. They have a online store that you can um, go look at and buy stuff from. But they go live, and she usually does it once or twice a month. And usually if she's going to go live, she'll go a couple of days in a row. She has an app too. And you, so you can either go to the Facebook group, my little scrapbook store, or you can go to, she has an app. You can download that and you can, um, shop when she goes live. She goes on those places. So you can go check her out, but starting Friday, she's going to go live and I don't know if she's going to sell anything, but they're going to play games and just have some giveaways and some fun stuff like that. And then starting, I think it's Sunday, Sunday or Monday. I can't remember for sure which one. Um, she's going to start doing 12 days of Christmas and they do like special sales every day. They're just a few products, but um, she gives you a good discount. Now, the thing about Michelle is, and my little scrapbook store, is they don't just 
Um, they don't really do Black Friday because their prices are marked down all the time. Like you always get a discounted price there. And so they don't do a big Black Friday sale for that reason. But you can get the um, Scrap and Happy Studio Flare. You can get that there. You can get um, 49 and Market. She does these things called Happy Scrappy Bags. So if you want like everything in the collection or most everything in the collection, you can get it, <coughs> excuse me, all together. And I just love Michelle. I can't talk enough about her. I can't um, express how much, uh, how lovely she is. She is such an absolute sweetheart. And so um, I, I try to talk her up as much as I possibly can. So if you would like some good deals, um, stop by there. I will try to remember to link it below and uh, tell her that Shayla sent you. I don't get anything special out of that, but I just want her to know how much I appreciate her. So, okay. So this is going to be my background. All right. Got that. Sorry. Like I said, I feel like I haven't been made a video in a long time. And so I'm kind of chatty this morning. So that's going to be my background. Then I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this. I like, or do I want this? I don't know. I kind of like the arrow better. But it's going to be backed on a solid. Um, I think the orange might be a little too much. Although we are a family of orange. Um, my husband, myself, and my son have all graduated from the same college. And my daughter is there now. And it is orange and black. So we are an orange family. Um, but I think for this particular instance, because we're all wearing kind of neutrals. Now it does look like I have kind of a pinkish shirt on, but it's kind of neutrally. So I don't want to, that orange is, it's not super bright, but I just, I don't like the way it makes the color of the photo kind of orangey too. So I think to back this, I think I'm going to use the blue. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Let me kind of get some stuff moved so I can cut stuff. Um, so this is going to be an 8 by 10 I have, um, at the end of the month when I do my haul video, you're going to need some time because I have some big old boxes over there, guys. Whew, I have... I have really hauled, and I have the new Tim Holtz trimmer. I got it from Michelle, um, but I haven't, well, I wanted to show it in an unboxing, and so I haven't, um, you know what, I don't, yeah, that's good. Sorry, I was talking to myself, um, but uh, I, I haven't even pulled it out of the box yet, and I'm kind of scared. I have used my Fiskars for so long. And I'm kind of scared to use something different. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Okay, do I want the little nails on this or do I want them just peeking? I think I want it over here. Because then this way I'll put this here and it'll just kind of be peeking out there. I always shop a lot in November because of Black Friday sales and all that. But I have. Kind of, Michelle's had such good stuff, and I, yeah, I've, I've really used done a lot. I have shopped a lot, and yeah, I'm mm -hmm. so my uh, my haul is gonna be kind of kind of crazy. It might take a little while to get through it. <laughs> That's okay. I, nobody in my family buys me scrapbook stuff, and so I call it, you know, my gift to myself. That looks super crooked. Well, it is a little bit crooked. Like, I even use my T-square. I am going to get um, a new T-square. My uh, Close to my heart sells one that... I want to try out. It's kind of expensive, but I just, I just want to try it out. So, okay. So I decided to use the arrow paper and this is an eight and a half or an eight by 10. So I'm going to do this one a nine by seven. No, I'm not. This will be seven. Sorry. <laughs> it's a little confused in the measurements. But I just bought the, a new Fiskars not too long ago.
sorry. That's 10, so this needs to be now. Okay, I was, oh, I'm having chips on the struggle bus. It's been too long since I made a video. I know it's just like a week ago, but it feels like it's been a long time. And that one was kind of a quick one, so. Um, I bought a new Fiskars and I just feel like it doesn't cut straight. And I've used this, the same one forever, the same brand, the same type. And so I don't know why I, why I'm having such a struggle with it, but I just, like I said, I feel like it doesn't cut straight. And so I'm trying the Tim Holtz. It's definitely an investment though. I mean, it is not a cheap one, but uh, I was like, well, I'll give it a shot. Hopefully it'll, okay, I'm gonna pull up my, okay, so I could cut this picture down a little bit and use the blue. I think I wanna pull in that green. So let me find my scrap of it. I know I, I thought I had one. Oh, it's this, isn't it? I already used the scrap of that. That's okay. Um, I just, like I said, that orange, I like it, but I, I just feel like it makes our faces turn really orangey, and that may just be me. So I don't, don't want to use that. Like I said, I could use the blue, but I used the blue back here, so I'd really like to use the green. There's green. I'm going to have to cut my picture down just a little bit, but that's okay. I can do that. This restaurant, like I said, it's a steakhouse, and it's good. I mean, we like it. We don't go there except for our anniversary usually, but, and the steaks are good. I mean, it's a steakhouse. It's not like you know, the best steakhouse I've ever eaten, but it, I like it. But uh, the thing that's the best about it is they bread pudding. Oh, 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 if you like bread pudding, it is, it is really good. Some years we take our kids with us. Now we don't anymore because um, our kids are, did we this year? No, I'm pretty sure it's just us this year. And I don't think they're they were open. I don't think we went there this year. I'd have to go back and look. Okay, so um, they have a border, so I'm gonna pull out that hexagon. They have like a scallop, but I'm gonna use that hexagon sticker for mine before I put this down. That nose is running today. My nose has been running though for weeks. I just can't seem to get over it, whatever it is that I've had. I don't know if it's the weather. Okay, they have theirs up quite a bit, so I think I'm going to put my sticker right here. on top but that I'm trying to decide if I want to mat it one more time if maybe oh that's not big enough and I don't really want to cut a piece oh I have this one let's see because I'd like to bring in the orange a little bit maybe I don't know for some reason like I said for some reason I just feel like it messes with the color of that picture so I'm just not going to do it as much as I love the orange I'm just not going to do it Okay, I'm gonna put this. I love a good page map. I've used them for years. I forgot about them for a long time. And, uh, but yeah, I love a good page map. I'm almost thinking, uh, I wish I had the a full sheet of that orange. Because I would map the whole page and that would bring it in. But that's okay. I'm good. All right. Now, I am thinking about seeing if I can make this into a tag. Because they have a tag here and they have a tag here. And I'm thinking I could make, if I can make it. But I think my tag punch is a little too narrow. I mean, I could make a tag. I might do that. Let's see. 
And, I, and now that I've added this brown wood grain, I don't want too much of this gray wool grain, wood grain to show. So let me see if my tag wood punch would even work. Let's see. I want it like this. So let's see if it's even big enough to get it all in there. Ooh, it would be close. But I really want it to go the other way, so I'm going to have to cut it. Because I want that to go this direction. I mean, it's going to cut it off just a little bit. But I think it'll be okay if I can get it, if I can punch it while I'm holding it. Sorry, you can't see me. I'm still here. <laughs> Oh, it's really going to cut off my T and my H. So I think I'm just going to make a tag instead. Um, and I'm going to cut it off so I don't have quite so much of that showing. But yeah, my tag punch was going to get right up to the Y and right up to the T. And I'm afraid that once I punched it, I would mess it up because, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm really good about messing things up, especially when it's the only one I've got. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it was supposed to be this end that was the pun. <laughs> See, I told you. I told you I was really good at messing things up. I don't even think I'm going to make it. At well, let's see. Because that's supposed to go under there. Well, it's supposed to go under the sticker. So I'm trying to decide. Do I even want it to be a punch? or a tag, I think I'm just going to leave it like this, and then I'm going to cut it down even more. So I, I just don't like that, the whitish wood grain to show very much. Okay, let me ink it. Okay, now put it, I'm not going to glue it down yet. Let's, let's play a little bit before I start gluing stuff down and messing stuff up. All right, so that's the one thing that I for sure wanted on there. I think I might put it right there. Right there. Okay. So let me get out my stickers and see what else we can come up with. All right. So I have a tab. And I might, where if I put the tab down here? Maybe. Okay, I have another tab that I could put instead of that tag. I could put it here. All right, and that'll get, now I have a little bit of this border left, but that will get rid of the, most of this sticker sheet. So let's look at the other one, see what I can come up with. Okay, I want, I know I want this. I want it here. I cut, if I cut, I could cover that car up and put it on May going up. And then, like I said, I'm going to draw little arrows on it to point to the date and year. No, I'm not going to put that on there. Darn it. Actually, I will. I'll just, um, these years are too far away. So I'm just going to put a piece of, I'm going to get a circle and I'm going to cut a circle. I'll probably do that off camera just so you don't have to see me do all that. But I'm going to cover up the year part and with just cardstock, I'm going to make a circle, cover up the year part, the inner part with cardstock, and then draw my lines. So when you see my close up, you'll notice that I have done that because this only goes up to 2015. And that's not long enough. Okay, so I'm going to. And I think these, I don't, that's a mustache. I think, I don't know if that's a mustache or not, but I'm not going to use that. But could I use a star? Hold on, let me see what else I've got here. <clears throat> okay, they have their title here, but mine is not going to go there. I'm trying to think, what if I do it like that? Yeah, I'm going to put my title here. Um, I was going to ink it, but it's the same color. I don't know that it will show up. But we'll see. 
Yeah, it shows up a little bit. Okay, let's put this right here all the way to the side. Okay. And then I have a star and I have some arrows. And I have some more tabs. Um, oh, instead of stars, I really wanted to use up this sticker sheet, but I'm not going to use it up anyway because I'm not going to use the mustaches. So I'll just put my star back, not use this one up. But I do want these circle bits instead. So I'm going to, they have one over there. They have one down here. I, we have a, the scalloped ones too. So we're going to use these. Um, I think I'll make it a little cluster and put it, slide it under here a little bit. I will say last night, because this is book is Shayla, it's not just about scrapbooks, although that's really mostly what I talk about. Um, last night we had book club. Um, some friends that I work with, we do a book club. And last night we had book club and um, we talked about, we read in October, The X-Hex, which is a romance. And it was super, super cute. We really liked it. Most of us. There was a couple that didn't, but um, so if you like it, it is it's a little steamy in places. Uh, I can't do that because it would cover up the thirty one, which is my date. Um, I really kind of wanted these on there, but just don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, well, put those back. <laughs> I just feel like that's not very much embellishment. Um, but I have arrows. I am going to glue this down now that I know what I'm doing with it. Um, but anyway, the XX, it's a witchy love story, kind of. It's about a girl who, when she's a teenager, uh, is mad at the boy that she's been seeing and jokingly, jokingly, that's me with quotes, jokingly puts an X hex on him. She is a witch and he is too a witch. And then he dis he goes away. He lives in Wales. And uh, when he returns like 19 years later or something like that. No, nine years later. Nine years later. Um, the hex worked and it, it was just super cute. Super cute. Super funny. I mean, there's lots of really funny things. And like I said, it is a little steamy. So if you don't like steamy, that's my warning that it's a little steamy, but um, it, it was really funny. So I would definitely recommend it if you like those kinds of stories. It doesn't have very good ratings on Goodreads. It only had like a 3.5, I think, but we all, like I said, we all enjoyed it. We all thought it was pretty cute. So I'm just looking, I have this little box of just things that get is left over. And I was just looking through there to see if there's anything that might work. Hold on. I have some hearts. With some text. Some text. Text. There we go. I'm just trying to pull them out. It's also like star confetti. I don't want that. But I think it may be some of these hearts since it is about, you know, our anniversary and that kind of thing. That may be all of them. I think that is all of them. I don't know where I got this. No clue. But it's in my little, in my little box of stuff I need to use. So guess what? I'm going to use it up. Um, let's see something else. I see some wood veneer. Just a second. <laughs> has a little wood veneer heart quote, uh, quote box. So, gonna put that on there too. Okay, and then I can make a little cluster. Let me ink them. Yeah, when I have like just 
miscellaneous little embellishments like that, I uh, put it in that plastic container and then um, when I'm needing some extra stuff, I just grab it. You know what? I have some tickets too that are, hold on, I might have to pull them too because you know me and tickets. But I hope all of you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving. I am going, my, both my family and my husband's family live in our town. And so I am going to see some of my family that I have not seen in forever. We have a very big group coming this year. And uh, so I will be spending part of my Thanksgiving with them and then part of it with my husband's family. Like I said, they all live in the same town and I don't get to see them very often. Okay, now let me see. I have, I don't, I don't know that this orange is gonna match, but I just got these peach, peach, is that what they are? Yes, peach 49 in market. I haven't even opened them yet. So let me see if any of these, mm, not really the right color. I don't know. Could you see me down there? Yeah, you could. That's not really the right color. Okay. So put those back up. But then I also have the new, again, haven't opened it, Grove. And I think this might work. At least this one would. I'm not going to get it ready in the box, but that would work. So let's put some tickets down. I, you guys know, I would say it over and over. I love 49 and Market. Love them so much. I really wish I'd gotten the film strips for these two colors, but I don't think I did. I got the rub-ons, but nope, I did not get the film strips. Again, I know this video is kind of all over the place. I was definitely not prepared for it this morning, but um, I had a little time, a little quiet time before my daughter woke up and decided it was, we, I think we're going to go, well, I've got to go buy some groceries to cook tomorrow, but, uh, I think we're going to go get our nails done today because as you can tell, I really, really need it. But, uh, book club lasted kind of long last night. So, uh, she's sleeping in. She was here for book club, even though she didn't read the book. Um, they're all my friends and they all wanted wanted to see her and so we let her come to book club even though she didn't read it. I know you can't even really see these tickets, but peeking out a little bit, I just love how they look though. See, so just a little, little ticket peeking out. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut this one in half. Stop dropping stuff. I'm gonna put one up here under that and then the bottom half of it. But the book, we are gonna read a holiday book this time. And, oh no, can I even remember it? The, hmm, Christmas book swap? Something like that? Oh, I can't remember now. Yeah, so we're going to read. We wanted a Christmas book, but we didn't necessarily want it a romance again since we had just read a romance. But yeah, so that is our... I get another ticket out here. Now, I am going to ink this one because it's very close to that color. So it's not really going to show up very well. those blue ones they might work too I might I know I just glued everything down but that's okay I might add another one or at least try to so 
But yes, I'm hoping to get several Christmas books read that I have on my bookshelves. It's been kind of, I've actually been kind of busy lately, which I hadn't, that hasn't really been a problem. Actually, I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to put my wood veneer one. I'm sorry that I'm just kind of rambling, but anyway. Um, but yeah, for some reason, oh, this says Once Upon a Time, but I'm going to flip it over and use the back. It's fine. Although Once Upon a Time, we met each other, blah, 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 but it doesn't match the color. So like I said, I'm just going to flip it over. Uh, yeah, I feel like I've been kind of busy. I was also sick for a few days and uh, just didn't feel good. But this week, we had two days of school. Um, you can't see that ticket at all. Huh. Okay, well, if I do that, you can. Um, we had two, we only had two days of school, but one of those days, I missed the morning to go to a funeral of a, a my one of my friend's moms died, so I went to her funeral. And uh, then when I got back, I had concession stand for basketball that night, so I spent the night in the concession stand. That's just always my favorite thing to do. No, it's not. If you couldn't tell by my voice, it is so not my favorite thing to do, but anyway. So I had concession stand Monday night, and then last night uh, we had book club, so um, yeah, this is why you should plan things, Shayla. This is why you see me with my pages partly done most of the time, because if you don't, you see me just do this over and over. Put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up. Anyway, so uh, we had book club last night, and then today's Wednesday. I'm filming this on Wednesday, but... Uh, like I said, I've got to go get groceries to make my stuff for, for uh, tomorrow for Thanksgiving, and then hope like, and I need to go to the, a big grocery store. So I'm going to Walmart, which is 45 minutes away. So when we do that, it's pretty much an all day. It takes most of the day especially if we get our nails done too. You can't tell that's a heart and that is not bothering me, but it's tearing if I try to get it up. Maybe I got it. There we go. There, that's better. Um, so, yeah, we, Wednesday will be spent all day shopping and all that stuff. Then Thanksgiving, will be an all day event. It's like we have to go to two families. And then tomorrow, Friday, we are going to decorate the house while I have my daughter home to help me. <laughs> and then that'll be it. Okay guys, I think that's it. I am so sorry I rambled and didn't have a plan and all that fun stuff. But thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you are celebrating Thanksgiving today, I hope you have an amazing one. I hope you get to spend it with family and friends and all your loved ones. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you next time. Bye.